An eating disorder is a mental health problem. It isn't about wanting to be thin or about diet or food. It is about dealing with emotions and difficult situations in life. The amount of people affected in the UK is approximately 725,000. I came straight from being in hospital, so I had no idea what like a normal amount should look like. I'd freak out about it and think it was way too much. People with eating disorders, they have to develop a good relationship with food every day for the rest of their lives, and recovery can take a long time. My eating difficulties centred around bulimia. Um, it started from a very early age. I'd be trying to force feed myself as much food as I could in an hour or so and then feeling really, really guilty to the point where I make myself sick and that could be up to eight times a day. First Steps is a charity based in Derby, working across the county and in Nottingham. We provide support for people of all ages with eating difficulties and disorders and that support takes shape in the form of online support, counselling, one-to-one support for young people, groups, work in schools, training for professionals and working alongside NHS services. And Tinker, our pet dog, who meets and greets people as they come into the building. The thing that service users say time and time again is we feel understood. A lot of the people that work here and volunteer here have had or have known somebody that have an eating disorder. We've had 90 volunteers pass through our doors in the last 12 months and last year the volunteers gave over 9,500 hours of their time. The online befriending service is for people who can't necessarily make it to the office to get support. I like to encourage young people to start volunteering because actually if they're able to take what they've learned, apply it and then teach somebody else, they're developing their own understanding of eating disorders. LEAP programme stands for Loughborough Eating Disorder Activity Programme and it's very successful in helping people challenge their compulsive exercise tendencies. Someone struggling with an eating disorder, they feel negative about their bodies and therefore they engage in compulsive exercise and the behaviour often becomes addictive. We provide parents and carers with workshops called Skills for Carers and provides a toolbox of information for parents to be able to support their loved ones in their own homes. In the past 12 months, First Steps delivered training to over 190 healthcare professionals and over 140 mental health students at Derby and Nottingham University. We were able to ask our NHS provider, Derbyshire Healthcare Foundation Trust, to work with First Steps with our small eating disorder service we had in the NHS. That new type of service, delivered in partnership, paid for itself several times over. We estimate that NHS England now probably saves in the region of about £500,000 a year. They see people at home, they support them over meals. This kind of community support is a particular feature of, of what they offer in collaboration with the statutory service, with the NHS service, and treatment like that is missing in lots of the country. There are lots of patients I wish I could refer for interventions like that. In the last 12 months we worked with 32 different schools across Derbyshire, reaching over 1,500 children, and this is to increase awareness of body image and self-esteem. First Steps know the importance of using social media and last year we were awarded Charity of the Year status by a social media company. In six months First Steps went from reaching 3,000 to 42,500 people. With the help of organisations like First Steps you can find hope in recovery and, and become a better version of yourself. Without the help that I got, I'd have been one of those people that spends their life in hospital.